Hello everybody, welcome back, welcome back to another episode of Good Oh, The Devil and Me. Uh, play alone. Obviously we're playing alone. I like to keep the main title screen and all that in the video. Continue, continue right where we last left off. Thank you for all the new subscribers who have joined our channel, everybody. I've been having a blast playing some of these games. You know, even on the other channel. If you guys are not subscribed to the other channel, I would recommend you go and subscribe to the other one. To be honest. We got some great games we're going to be coming, you know, in 2024 on this channel though. You know, uh The Devil and Me is the first to kick it off. After we finish Horizon, I think I, I, it's between The Devil Me and World War Z. Just waiting for this to load on up. What are you worried about, Miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. Okay. Did we go this way? Examine Kate, this. Check this out. It's his hat. Who? H. H. Holmes. Grab it. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Fuck. Get. You okay? No. I just. This fucking thing popped out of nowhere. Ah. <laughs> Gosh. Mmm. See? Well, what is it? I hate the jump scares. Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. It can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. <laughs> hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on. Let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Huh. <laughs> Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. Force, will you try? We're tired of watching you fight. Empathetic Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Uh, I'm gonna say Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Did you see his notes? Yeah, I saw. Them. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you. Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? Mmm, bitter. He seems to think he owes us indifferent things. It's how directors have to be. I'm gonna be bitter Charlie on this does one. does seem to think he owns us. He's so damn controlling. I don't let him control me. Why else do you think we fight so much? Did you know Aaron hasn't been paid in weeks? He told her that learning from him was his own reward. That piece of shit. He has her running around town, picking up his laundry, doing his shopping like he can't do anything for himself. Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana at Entertainment. Uh, support a get out while you can. Disappointed, I thought we'd move in together. I'm gonna go disappointed on this one. I guess I thought we'd move on together, like a team. Mark, look, this isn't your passion. It's just a job for you until you get your name out there as a photographer. You can't expect... I know. I hate this shitty documentary stuff. Charlie has got a clue about how to frame a shot, let alone tell a story. And get on with it. You're right. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. What a stunning performance. You should give up news and be an actress. I was quite moved by all that. Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. 
I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Whatever Ooh. your future plans may be, right now, you work for Lonit Entertainment. And Lonit Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonit employees are professionals, yes? So start acting like it. Ooh. Uh, Great. Ouch. Patrick, you have a future, and now I don't. That man is a goddamn child, and somehow we all sink to his level. This is this is creepy right here. That is super creepy. Ugh, man. Freaking jump scare already twice. Hey, guys. Ooh. Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just poor Mark. Reassure let's all just relax, concerned. Who doesn't show up to their own... <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do Who that one. Who doesn't show up to their own dinner party? None of you did anything to piss him off, did you? No, Dad. I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Ah, oh, Mr. Dumet! I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet? Yeah, back to it ain't coming. Wait, what? why? He saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Can't be. You must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. They're in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lonnet plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for shore? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? Uh, I'm gonna go with the angry. Stop I'm questioning about my judgment. Done with you all questioning my judgment. The man tells me he has artifacts useful to our investigation. Look around you. Did he lie? There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leap to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet? As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm sure I didn't decide with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lower your voices. Why? He's not here. But that doesn't explain why he's ditched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you? You know. So when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Oh, oh God, Shit. Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? She's not, not wrong. Helping. Okay, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. I'm gonna go with this one. Incorrect. I found an extra special pack of invisible cigarettes. In fact, I'm smoking one right now. See? <laughs> that explains why you're in such a great mood. So what are we doing? Are we just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? <laughs> the plan? <laughs> in true lawn and entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. Wh well, here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. Damn, it's like a roast on him.
Hostile. All right. All right, enough. enough. I'd like to propose a toast. It seems as if this may well be our last supper as a team, given how you've all been acting. Me and my apostles. <laughs> Just wait. Give me a moment. I can't decide who the Judas is. I've got so many options. And of course you're the martyr. You're going to find out very soon that you won't get very far without being a team player, Kate. Enough Sunday school bullshit. Charlie, what's your problem now? You know, you don't always have to get a word in, Jamie. You do your best work when you're silent. Trust me. Come on, Charlie. You want us to rally behind you. Stop treating us like crap. <laughs> uh, spiteful. Well, he is treating you Are guys you like me? crap. Continue you with the it. best damn DP I've ever worked with until Kate got into your head and made you insecure and neurotic. That's not. You think you're too good for this, don't you? You think you're an artist? Fine. Go take some pretty pictures and see if that pays the bills. You can blame my mood on Erin. She lost my smokes. Cheers, everyone. She didn't screw up. She may seem all doe-eyed and lost, but she knows exactly what she's doing. Oh. Uh, then where are they, Jamie? Did you check up your ass? <sighs> oh, fuck off, Charlie. You're the director. You're not God. You're not the king. We're not your royal subjects that must kiss your ass and cater to your whims. Kate. No, he needs to hear this. He doesn't give a single shit about our feelings, our careers, our needs. Fuck him. Fuck you. <laughs> just leave. <gasps> just leave. Oh, this is just priceless. <laughs> of course you're enjoying this. Enjoying watching Charlie lose all control of his precious plan? Yeah, maybe a little. Enough, Jamie. Dude, you've lost the right to tell us what to do. Look at where we are. Is that what you all think? I'm gonna go with that one. Is that I got what you it. all think? You're all in agreement about this? Yes. <sighs> Unbelievable. What do we do? We're like alone here. We don't have our phones. It's not like we can leave until he's back. May as well keep busy. Okay, yeah, I'm done. I'd rather be staring at a blank wall than sit here any longer. <laughs> hey, Mark. You want to follow Kate around like a lost dog, or should we start planning what gear to pull? There's good light in the lobby, minimal setup time. We can be good to go in 15. Then let's do it. At the very least, your sets are the most entertaining I've ever been on. Uh, working for me is never boring. Like. At least <laughs> working for me is never boring. Yeah. We should get Aaron to pipe in a laugh track to our headset so we never miss a beat of the Charlie Lonnet comedy gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Mark is right. Light in there is good. Just need to set up a couple fills. Won't take long. Grand. <clears throat> Someone's not happy. Man, that was a great dinner. <laughs> Man, whoever is, I want to know who this is. He is acting so creepy. <laughs> I'm 
What's going on with Aaron? Oh, she has asthma, that's right. Hello? Guys? Is that you? What was that noise? Examine this. Breaking down walls. Five minutes. Or just put your headphones on. It's like locked doors. There's nothing down here. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing you. Yes. Is that noise? Oh. Okay, we saw something. Aaron getting stabbed. Fuck. This is so creepy. You think you walk down one way, the door, the wall is there, and then also. Oh, god damn it. What the fuck? Did I go in a circle? 
I feel like I just went in a circle. Son of a gun. Might not be scared. Oh, and I won't be scared long. The fuck? Holy shit! What the f- Mmm! Don't tell me we're gonna have our first death. Holy shit, that scared me. Breakers. <sighs> this game is a trip. <sighs> I'm still trying to calm down from that jump scare. Jeez. Okay. Playing as Jamie, right? Is this anything now? Shit. Hello? Mr. Demet? Grand opening. Might be time to join the 21st century, guys. Inspect. The lady looks 10, ten years younger. Digital lock installation, 48 bucks. Hold on. Examine this. What is this? Directed by you, we have made the requisite, requested amendment to your will. Concedial has been added, which states that in the event of both of your deaths, the sole beneficiary of your entire estate is Mr. Richard Belknap. We recommend that a copy of this letter is given to you, your legal representative, for their records. Huh. Nothing to worry about. Alrighty, headset is back on. I had to sneeze there for a minute, everybody. Okay, that's locked. Great. Enter the creepy what? maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a doc about serial killers <laughs> all alone and without my stun gun. She has a stun gun? Do you remember Billy, Jamie. dude? Make better choices. Oh shit, when he built twenty four was it was it twenty four thousand? Hold up, I gotta see this shit. Twenty four thousand. Damn. Damn this. Huh. I think they're gonna add spas in this place. There's notes everywhere. Please find overlap, overleaf, breakdown of their work at. Oh, okay.
What is this over here? Oh. I was just in here. What is this over here? Examine this. <laughs> that doesn't even work. What do I get the feeling? There's something... Uh, there's four chairs here signaling someone's death? Why do I get that feeling? Okay. Wait. Where's the breaker? What is this? Some code. This is some code here. Hmm. I'm gonna go with this. 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 And this. Thank God. Something from this century. Okay. Okay, uh, this one, this one, this, 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 So this, this, this one, back, 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 uh, hold up, jamming this, oh, it doesn't reset, oh shit. Okay, I just want to do that. Okay, we're going to start from the bottom. This one on. This. 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 This one. And this one? No. I have no idea. Is it this? This one. This. So all of them have to be turned on, okay. Okay. Okay, turn around. 
Attention. Attention. This is a severe weather storm warning for the Greater Lakes area. High winds and heavy Turn that off. Does this work now? Nope, still doesn't work. What the hell? Where's the PA when you need one? Gotta be smarter than the chair box. Yeah, yeah. Where the hell is everyone? It's a two person job to pull Kate away from her mirror. Uh, Miss Steve, you should write a book on managing a crew. Reflected. Sorry if I stirred. I'm gonna go with this one. When we wrap, you should totally write a how-to book on managing a crew with grace and poise. Fuck off. Do your job. See, <laughs> you already have the title. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I want to mess with Charlie so badly. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want to piss him off. Get me out of here. Thing. Door stuck. Break it open. It's not buzzing. Uh, I need my inhaler. I, I need my inhaler. So I'm gonna ask my dad, what's your room number? I, hurry. Charlie, where's the room? Next to mine, down the long hallway for you. Aaron, I'm going. Try to breathe slow and easy. We're here, Aaron. Just try to stay calm. Count your breath. One, two, three, and one. Two, three, out. We need to break through this thing. Hurry up and Guys, open the freaking door. Come on. I, I, I can't. Don't look for something to knock this door down. Me and Mark will try and force it open. God damn it. Who's there? <gasps> what the fuck? Someone's in here. Guys. Guys, somebody's in here. W with me. Oh, God. Huh? Uh, attack him. Did I do the right thing? I don't know if I did. Help! Don't! Oh shit! Well, I got her killed. There's no one in here. Where is she? I don't think so. Aaron? Aaron! Then she found a way out. There must be a door or a hatch or something. Way out. 
It's a closet, Charlie. Well then. That 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 didn't go as planned as I wanted it to be. Ah. There you are. What's up, curator? I wonder how Jamie will take the news. Just when they <laughs> seem to recognize how they felt about each other. Now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Maybe if he had, things wouldn't have become so uncomfortable. Charlie certainly lost his cool, and if a team can't work together, they are unlikely to succeed. I can only observe, and it can be frustrating to watch. Yeah, it is. In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. You get to shape them. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. <sighs> Where the hell is she? She's got to be around here somewhere. She has to be. Yeah, I'm sure there's a simple explanation. This place is like a maze. She's just turned around somewhere and... And screaming her ass off? You all heard no problem with that. Something is very not right here. Let's just find Aaron and get the hell off this island. Everyone relax, okay? Just give me a second to think. To think? Excuse you. <sighs> and exit stage left our oh-so-confident and sure leader. What was that? Charlie is on you for ages to actually make a decision about something, anything. And now this is when you suddenly choose to take a stand? So the show is more important than the fat Aaron is missing? No way, Mark, come on. We find her and we leave. You're jumping to conclusions. Mark, I don't know what's made the two of you suddenly swap perspectives, but Kate is right. If the show goes down, we're all screwed. Yeah, don't care. I'm gonna find Aaron. Right. Here's the plan. We've already got a plan. It's leaving. Just listen. Look, let's just crack on with things. I'm gonna go and find Dumet and square everything with him. I'm thinking after standing us up for dinner, I can guilt him into doing an interview. So Erin is on her own? She'll show up. Bravo, Charles. Your delusions make for such great plans. Dumet left. I saw it, remember? Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. Would it kill you to think positively just once? I guess as far as Charlie ideas go, it's not I think the Demet worst just left me. I don't care. He ain't coming back. He's like, I'm off don't this island. Don't go patting yourself on the back. I still think your priorities are fucked. Whatever. I'm going. I'm coming with you. We're gonna run around looking for Demet. Maybe we'll find Aaron too. I don't care what he says. I'm done. I'm getting my shit together. Kate. I'm leaving, Mark. You coming or not? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, you better. Okay, genius. Where are we going to look first for Demet? I'm not looking for Dumet. I'm scouting for shots. If he pops up along the way, great. Aaron has disappeared. How can you not care about that? I can care about more than one thing at a time. Wow. You know, working this job has made me really understand what a sociopath is. Well, our show <laughs> is educational. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking kidding me. Hey, can we go down here? What the fuck? Inspect. Wait. Did that number change? If you guys don't remember, was it seven eight one one seven eight or one one eighty? I know that number changed. What happened here? I no idea. What 
the fuck? Aaron! Can you hear me? Can you warn me before you start shouting? Huh. I'm starting to freak out. We barely looked. Yeah, but she's been gone a long time now. Erin! That's part of the oh, script no, she that they had. Her outside having a smoke. She has asthma. She's not smoking. You know what I mean. We'll find her. Jamie! Over here. Okay, yeah. I'm freaking the fuck out. It's just blood. Just blood? Are you kidding me? You're jumping to conclusions. Or maybe this is from Aaron. Stop it. You always assume the worst. All we know is something was dragged along this way and it was bleeding. And that's not a cause for concern to you? All right, it's a little odd. Odd? What do you want me to say? <laughs> Look, it's probably just Dumet or the groundskeeper dragging in some dead animal from outside. Maybe it's our dinner. Welcome, one and all, to tonight's entertainment. Oh, what the fuck? Presented by Grantham Dumet. Dumet? What? So he hasn't left. Who the... Why do I get the feeling that we're walking into a trap and we're gonna die? Which way do we go? I'm guessing we go this way? Killer, help. Please help. Help me. Jamie. We got to stay. We got to stay. Anything we do, it's it's oh my god. Mm. Shit, give me your hand. Come on. Damn it. <laughs> What's happening? What did I do? We need to get the fuck out of here. Now. Charlie. Huh? Let's go. Just killed the groundskeeper. She, I'm not doing good at all in this. Did, did you see him? The mask? What the hell was that? Are you, Are you serious? We're trapped. Jesus. We're trapped? What do we do? Break the fucking door down. Right. On three. One. Two, three. Uh, uh, uh. What the 
hell? You hear that? Yes. What is happening? Is it the the entire place is shifting, right? Don't do that. And don't make fun of me. Sorry. Wouldn't want you to cut yourself. The rock is sharp as hell and you know, super magical. It's an amethyst crystal. It helps keep you calm by blanketing you in protective energy. I know. I remember. If you know, then don't call it a rock. Maybe I just feel like you should take responsibility of your own emotions and stop outsourcing the job to a crystal. Uh, compliment? Maybe, yeah, I'm going to go with that one. Maybe you're right. But you don't have to be an asshole about it. Okay, maybe that was a shitty thing to say. I'm sorry. It's fine. This isn't the time or place to... I have to tell you something. Okay. Earlier, you brought up that DP job I blew off. I never told you the truth about it. About what? It wasn't a job. Not really. What are you talking about? What are you talking Remember about? my friend Murray? He was setting up a studio in Brooklyn, Fine Arts. He wanted a partner. That's your dream. Yeah. There is exactly zero money to made, so I thought you tell me it was insane, rightfully. Because it would be. Confused. Why didn't you go for it? Why the hell didn't you go for it? Why didn't you tell me? Things were already starting to get tough for us. Oh, no, no, no. Don't put any of this on me. This is all you. I know. I turned it down because it would have taken me away from you. Stupid choice. If it's your career and your dream, go for it. It was a really it. stupid choice, Mark. I... I just... Uh, what do you want me to say? Guess I was holding out for things to change with us. Deep down, I'm still hoping. Should have said this before. Should have said all this before. I know. I'm not going through it all again. What if this time is different? Oh, come on. That's not likely, and you know it. Sorry. I guess I'm a little confused. We better go. Let's find Aaron and get the fuck out of here. Alrighty, everybody. I'm gonna end this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the devil and me oh my god i got two people killed oh this is terrible one of them is one is the char characters in this but uh hope you guys enjoy this one please drop a like comments and please do subscribe it does help out a lot on the channel i'll see you guys all in the next one to come peace out and goodbye